Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am here to just kind of go over the top selling cars in Grand Theft Auto 5. So, one of the easiest ways I've found to make money in GTA Online, and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people have found this way, I mean, obviously, uh, one of the easiest ways to make money is just to sell cars that you don't need. I'm just here to kind of go over some of the most common and some of the best selling cars. Just because, you know, it's easier that way. So, starting off, I'm just kind of showing you where one of the most expensive car- where the most expensive car is. It's the Vapid Payout, but it is the gang version. It's found in the Strawberry slash Davis slash Grove Street area. It sells for $12,940. That's more than you would get on most. Well, most early on missions. I'll be honest, I haven't gotten through many of the more expensive missions, but looking at some of the cars I have, like the Bravado Buffalo, I remember when I first played this game, that used to be the car that I would sell the most. Like, I came back to this game and I had about six of them here in my garage, uh, and they only sold for about 3200 which, you know, to me was a lot back then because I didn't have the you know, nearly 300,000 and plus that I usually have nowadays. Um, right here is probably one of the most common that you'll be able to find is the, oh boy, is the Albany Calvacade. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. And it's listed that there's a modern and a classic version of this car. However, I've never seen I don't know the difference between them, and as I was just doing, I was kind of looking over the marks on the vehicle, because it has Calvacade written all over it, then it has Albany Calvacade on the back. This car sells for seven grand, which is, you know, uh, pretty good. It's probably the least amount of money that I usually try to aim for when I'm selling cars, uh, but there are some pretty common cars in that. Well, Actually, there's only two cars in the $7,000 range, which is the Albany Calvacade and the Benefactor Dubsta. Right here, I'm taking my Ubermacht Oracle, I believe this is. Uh, this is one of my more favorite cars to get. Um, mostly because whenever I pick it up, I know the Oracle logo, uh, but I still haven't quite gotten myself memorized on what exactly the Oracle looks like. Wait a minute. Did I say that right? Yeah, no, I know the Ubermacht Oracle, but I don't exactly know all the details of the Oracle. But this is a pretty high selling car. It sells for around eight grand, uh, which is what I'm going to do right now in the video. Mostly because I just need some more money. I mean, really all I ever buy is ammo, but you know, still, it's always good just to have some extra on hand. Here for the next touch. So, you can only sell one car for every... I think it's 45 to 48 minutes. And that's why I stopped selling cars and picking up cars like the Bravado Buffalo and the Bravado Gauntlet. It's just that they don't get you enough for that amount of time. So, I'm just going to go head to my garage now where I have some more cars. Alright, yeah, I know, pointless transition, but I was almost at the five minute mark for upload, so I said, eh, why not? Uh, quick note here, this is a Mammoth Patriot. It's one of the most easily recognizable cars, just because it's a Hummer. This car will get you about five grand, which, you know, isn't too bad, but Simeon commonly wants uh, a Patriot. I don't know why, but it always seems to appear in the list when he tells me, oh, I want this car, or I want one of these cars, and you just gotta get it resprayed for about $780, and he'll give you around ten grand. so it's much better than selling it at Los Santos Customs. Um, right now, I think I'm gonna go over the 12 highest grossing cars. Which would be from the eight grand to the 
12,940. So, uh, from number 12 to number 1, it's the Ubermacht Oracle, the Benefactor Schwarzer, the, Ocelot Ec the Ocelot F620, the Canis Mesa, the Meriwether Jeep, the Obey Rocado, uh, the two Galvanter Ballers, which there's a modern classic version, but again, I don't know the difference. The Lampadati Felon, the Declassi Tornado, but uh, the gang version, the Lampadati Felon GT, the Albany Buccaneers gang version, and the Vapid Payout gang version. And those will get you anywhere from 8,000 to 8,500 to 9,000. To 9,040, 9,500, to 9,750, 12,940. So in here, uh, here's a Umrocked Oracle XS. Uh, I'm probably going to sell this car soon because they only get you around six grand, which isn't horrible, but I think seven grand is kind of the minimum you should aim for. I have another Oracle. Then here's the Galvanter Baller, which to me, it's the most common car that you're going to find that you can sell for a really high amount because the top four are out of, well, out of the top six I guess three are gang cars uh, two are Lampadotti's which I haven't really found and then the last two are the modern and classic version of the bar so you can kind of tell Baller really easily just because they have the big giant Galvanter logo on them. Uh, but a few other things are they have, you know, Galvanter on the back. They have the kind of four back lights. Then they have the kind of, you know, easily kind of recognizable front lights. Two little exhaust ports on the side. And, you know, as long as you see those things, then, yeah, you've just got to... <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, you have a Galvanter Baller, and that's an easy nine grand right there. I have three of them in this garage, so, you know, it's $27,000 right there. So, I mean, really, if you just get enough of these, and you just don't want to do missions at the time, just go take one of these, go sell it, get some quick, easy money. Because, really, in this game, uh... Jacking cars, or you know, whatever you want to call it, that sounds ugh, sounds weird to say. Uh, you're gonna get plenty of money, really, and it's just such a easy thing to do. Anyways, though, um, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.